there, it's Karen here from Turquoise Treasures and I'm back with you today to carry on working in my ring band journal. Um, I've, I, was, I started this yesterday in my time, <laughs> I don't know when it, this, I, I probably upload this one quite soon after the first one just because I want to get the, um, the first page that I worked on finished and I, I didn't really want there to be too big a gap between the start and the finish of this. Um, I have in, in between done a little bit more work on it as you can probably see. I have sewn all around um, the page and I've also put my holes and I've also put eyelets in. Um, I've decided I've I bought some, um, some eyelets in these sort of turquoisey colours so I thought I might use use those on some of these pages. I'll, I'll probably mix and match the eyelets a bit and use some bronzy coloured ones or other colours as well. But I thought these went rather nice on here. Um, and so, and you can see on the back. Oh, the other th little thing I did was um, I thought the the bit of uh, tissue paper I used was looking a little bit a bit thin and bit a bit um, fragile because it was because it is so thin stuck down. So I just took a piece of um, a scrap of the paper from one of the um, pieces that I torn off and just edged it down down here. And I think that just finishes that off quite nicely on there. You you wouldn't know necessarily that that's wasn't all part of it so I put it actually I think I put the strip all the way down the side and I think that finished it off quite nicely so um, I'll come back to this side I just thought um, on this front there's not much more to do I've got obviously I've got to make something to go in here um, I'm, I'm um, cogitating what, what I'm going to make I've got an idea in my head and I've got to work it through what I want to make I mean it's not gonna be anything complicated but it's uh, it's not what I originally planned because it's um, the side tuck is on the wrong side to do that, but that will turn up in another on another page. Um, so all I just thought I might do on this one is add a bit of lace. So, <laughs> big surprise, huh? <laughs> so I thought I'd just use some of this uh, really pretty crochet lace that I've got. Um, might even put some more um, down the bottom at some point if I have, give it some thought, but I think for the moment I'm just going to put a piece along this edge even though I've done some nice sewing down that edge I, th I still want to put I think I want to put this there um, so that's what I'm going to do first of all I think and get my now where's it gone ah oh, there it is excuse me oh. I think the fabric tag could be the right thing to use here. I don't want it to be, I only want a small piece because I don't want it to interfere with things getting in and out of the side tuck. But I do, I do want that little bit of decoration on there, I think. I do like the way this kind of has this slightly 3D effect. It, it may not come through on the camera. This has got stuck on now. <laughs> but um, to my eye, it looks a little 3D. Um, this this little side tuck here, so I quite like that. Right, let's see if we can get this to come out today. Yep, coming up. I might just go sideways. Maybe that could be easier. Right. I'm actually filming this on Good Friday, which is probably uh, by the time it gets um, gets loaded up, it's probably going to be a long time in the past. From your point of view but I'm trying to film ahead because um, partly because I couldn't wait to get started on this and um, I'm so well ahead with my um, my wedding videos that uh, if I waited until it was nearly time for this to to come out I, I, I mean I just couldn't wait that long I needed to get started so um, I'm just getting going and, and scheduling ahead but also um, my husband's going to take a week off work so I did wonder if I might not have as many opportunities to come into the craft room in a couple of weeks time anyway. So if I know that I've got my videos scheduled ahead, 
I won't I won't stress about that if we you know if we decide to go out at all if depending on the weather of course um, so that's uh, one of the reasons I'm kind of getting well ahead of myself so it's good Friday I have the house to myself he's gone out for a long walk he's had a hard week at work so I think he needs some fresh air and to stretch his legs a bit he doesn't get many opportunities to do that while he's working so that I think looks okay along the edge there um, now on the other side um, I have been one of the things I've been doing in between yesterday and today is cutting out all my little bits of ephemera from the uh, from the kit um, the kit is by Yana's Crafting and it's called Medieval Travel World. I've looked it up because I felt so um, embarrassed that I, well not embarrassed, but I was annoyed by myself that I hadn't checked the name of the kit before I came on yesterday. So I did that. Um, so it's Yana's Crafting. I Hopefully I have already linked it to yesterday's video. Um, so you will have seen that if you've, if you've looked. Um, and it's called Medieval Travel World. And they also, she also does one called Medieval Science World, I think. Um, so I don't know. I think I know I saw some things about other countries, but I think that must have been a different, on a different uh, Etsy shop. And um, so I, I haven't looked further for that because I think I think I can make this work for me anyway. Um, so I've been cutting out and uh, making up all my little um, pockets and things. And look at some of these things, they are so cute. This is a little envelope. By the time I cut them out, you don't always realise how tiddly some of these things are. I have this cute, these cute little pockets. Look at these. And they're so good for, the, for this because I, I was thinking I could kind of layer up some pockets. Um, there's an even tinier one here somewhere. So I've got all these little adorable little pockets. Um, and what else have I got? There's quite a few... Um, quite a few envelopes um, so that's that's another pocket but this was originally an envelope and I just thought I wasn't sure about the shape of it it's a funny shaped envelope to me um, there's another one which I have made made up I haven't really stuck it down but I just thought I wasn't sure how I'd use it really envelope wise so I've converted it to a pocket I thought well I can make that into a pocket and that works quite well and I've done the same this was also originally an envelope um, you can see the envelope shape on the back but I've just cut the flap off and made it into a pocket because I thought I'd get more use out of it that way there's quite a few tags nice looking loads of these nice tags little journal cards they're all quite small and I think that works really well with this um, just trying to find my super diddle pocket but I think it's so small I can't find it I suppose it gone I'm trying to look in my little box here and uh, is that another small one? Is that even no? There is there is a smaller pocket. Would you believe? And that's it. That's another envelope. But I like that one. That's sucked that way up. So I've got lots of lots of little pockets, and um, I seem to have lost lost the one that I was going to show, which is so tiny. I think it's just disappeared in my box. Can I see it? No. It'll turn up anyway. No problem. So, oh, this is it. This is the. Other so small I didn't see it look how small that cute that is that's so diddly but um yeah I might do something with the sort of multiple pockets or something on a page you know just kind of putting them around I thought that would be quite nice so I might do that on another page I think to do that you need something a little bit more more of a contrast in the background so I'll see what how I do that maybe I'll do it on a map page or something which will make it look a bit different um so what I thought for this page I'm going to use this which was a was an envelope I've made into a pocket and I was just going to pop it there um, and then I'm going to make the the little booklet from the from the paper pad if you remember this book I'm going to make that into a little booklet to put in the pocket so we'll see how that goes shall we so um, I had this banner on the front so I thought well, I need to write something on there as you can see I've started I've been playing around with my small stamps and I had to try different ones to get it to fit um, and I'm just going to put on the high C's because it just seemed I don't know it just kept, thought it might be quite a nice little phrase to put on there because it's got a boat and 
buy a house and stuff so I just thought I'd put on the high seas on there no particular reason so I started just to see how it would fit and I've got my little stamps here you can see all <laughs> my little um, stamp um, blocks the set of them I've got and um, so I've got my stamps already on there so I thought I'd just finish that off um, to start with so I'm going to do that actually before I do that I'm just going to pause the video because my heating has come on and I am suddenly I'm boiling it was been a really cold morning and I was really feeling chilly but uh, I've got a radiator practically in front of me um, under my desk and it's building out the heat and I'm just I'm melting so I'm just going to turn the turn the camera off for a moment and um, take my jacket off okay that's better right so uh, I'm going to do I'm just going to finish off this little little phrase hope it works out I've never done any stamping on camera before so no I have that's not true because I have because I made some tags didn't I and I stamped on and then I did a little bit of stamping on I think on my wedding journal so ignore that I have done stamping on camera before but it's never been particularly successful so we'll see how this goes not too bad so I'm using um, archiver link in sepia I'm just going to do this in well, it's gone a bit a bit uh, Splodgy, but never mind. Try to keep the letters as crisp as I can. It's better. Oop, not that one. Okay. So I'll get the letters for high out of the way. High. And then we've got C's here. Probably could have started a little further over. I can never quite judge how long, how much space I need for these things sometimes. Oh well, that's, that's not too bad. That's come out okay. Right, so that's, let's put this away before I get in a mess. Right, um, where's it gone? There it is. That's my page. Right, so I'm going to pop that, that at the bottom there. But before I do that, I, I had, I've had a little delivery of lace from Amazon. I know it's a, it's not the best place to be buying lace from. It's certainly not vintage lace. But they do do a nice big pack of lace. All different styles and different colours and things. For not very much money. So um, I bought some once before and I've gone through a lot of it. But and you don't really know what you're going to get. And I actually one of the thing, one of the laces that came with it was this gorgeous teal colour. So <laughs> I'm going to use it. And I thought it'd go quite nice just on top of that bit of um, tissue paper there. So I'm just going to trim it. I think I want it to just go behind the um, pocket. So I'm just going to cut it there. Just check where it comes to. So I'll probably cut it a bit too, a bit longer than it needs to be. So I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to cut a piece off. And I think the art glitter glue would work for this. Right. 
Oop. Make sure it goes to the top. I hope I haven't cut it too short. I don't think I have. It's just, no, it's still, it's fine. I thought it just cheer that little bit up. Make it looks a bit more decorative. Right, so that's that. And then I'll put the pocket on here. it down nice and thoroughly. Right, put that about there I think. Don't want to lose my my lighthouse. There we are. Trying to make sure I don't smudge the, um, the stamping. I think it's probably dry. It dries quite quickly. I think the archive will ink, but I don't want to take any chances. Just make sure I press it along the bottom there. Okay, so while that's drying, although I think it dries quite quickly, I'm going to have a go at making this little booklet might be interesting. So I put that to one side and take this page out. Okay. thinking what can I use these books for would they work as a side tuck and I think they might because I think you could have them stacked like that as well as like that so that might be for another page I'm trying to because I'm I'm kind of thinking I might do about 10 pages but I don't know I don't know how fat that will get I've got quite big rings to use so we will see and obviously I've got the extra ones I did five of the plain ones so that would make 15, which is a pretty standard size journal, but I don't know if that's going to be too much, if it'll be just too fat like that. So we'll see how it goes. This is fairly experimental for me, this, uh, this journal. And uh, I've no idea how many pages Tina ended up with. She didn't say... Let's see what this looks like when it's all cut out and folded. And I put some got some coffee dyed paper that I some that I did recently that's some lined paper. That I think I'll put inside and just make it into a little booklet. I might even sew it in. Not uh, not the pamphlet stitch sewing the with the sewing machine. So I'll get that up in a moment and have a go. And also I want to decorate the front of this a little bit. I mean it has got the floral decoration so it looks um, like it's got, you know, it's, it's got the decoration on the page but it is a little on the flat side so I would quite like to add something. And there's a few things that can be cut out from the paper pad. And I've also cut out most of the, or quite a lot of the bits um, on the back page, I don't know if you remember on the back page of the paper pad there was a whole load of uh, die cuts, things that you know, things that you can cut out to add to this so um, I've done that I've cut, cut, well, I haven't cut out the, tiddly, the little tiny ones because otherwise I'll get lost so I've kept them together but uh, the bigger pieces um, I have cut out like for instance her ladyship so 
she's yes I think my problem is I won't want to use her I shall <laughs> I shall be brave enough to use her on something but I must and I've also got her this one as well where she's sat on a packing case or suitcase so yes they've all got to make make their way into the journal haven't they right so now I've got that and it's got this lined inside it looks like the inside of a book but I think we'll make it the natural actual book by folding it in half let's see how that works out because it's not particularly even on the sides I'll end up folding it let's get my bone fold all right So we've got that. That's just worked out quite nicely in the middle. I might just mark that middle piece so that it will be a guide when I'm sewing and when I'm trying to put the pieces in, I think. Okay, now I have a couple of sheets of this, which actually I thought went quite well with the uh, paper that's there so I'm just going to cut those down or tear them down I think get these all these little bits out of the way right let's try and cut these tear these about there I won't do too many, I don't want to make it too thick for my sewing machine, but I can do a few. I think this one will be too small now. Use that for something else, get another page out. a little bit smaller. Right. And tear that one down. if this is going to be enough sheets it's only going to be four I think I was kind of thinking five might be an optimum number might get another one out just grab another one wrinkly but I think it'd be okay for writing on it all makes it a bit more authentic doesn't it it's like an old book Um, 
do there. Two. Three. I hope I think my sewing machine will be all right with this. It's uh, quite thin paper. funny little bits they might you know, they might come in handy now is there one that's slightly longer that I can put on the outside no I didn't measure them exactly or anything like that that one might be a big good outside one it's about these So I think yep. fold them. Maybe I'll fold them individually and then slot them together rather than trying to fold them one at a time. I think that would be asking for trouble. trim them a little bit if they're really really sticking out too much we'll see and the last one that if it's as long as it's not sticking out of the book oh that's the front not the other way not that it matters really but somehow I just which way around do I want it so it goes like that I think this one might need a little trim as I put it further up I don't really want to trim off the ones that have got that brown edge. Maybe that one needs to go on the outside. It seems to be sticking out. Let's put this on the outside and see if that looks better. Yes, I think it does. Yeah, that looks better, doesn't it? I'll do that and sew that in. Let's see, where's my middle? Right. Let's try and do this. Ah, oh. I think I need some paper clips. I 
every time I reach for my paper clips, I send my trimmer flying at that in the same same spot on my rascal. So <laughs> I have to be a bit careful. Right. Let's try and get this straight. position appears to be right that page looks upside down because it's got the deeper part oh dear I want to get it right the page doesn't look right that way round sorry got to move it round line it up again just make sure they're all looking the right way up. If there's a, it's a deeper, slightly deeper piece that needs to be at the top, then I need to put it at the top. Right. So, this one is now at the top. Okay. Sorry about that. had to feel it was looking right. Okay, let's try again. Get, them in, get it into position again. Make sure they're all lined up. Too high now. Oh, okay. Hopefully, when this gets sewn, it'll be in the right place. So, right, let's give it a go. Okay, I'll have to turn the camera off because I've just got to move, clear some space to bring up my sewing machine and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the uh, sewing machine lined up. I've got my little booklet ready to go. Let's give it a go. Try and um, hopefully we'll go right down the middle. Just see if I've got the needle lined up where it needs to be. I think I have. Do a little back stitch. Let's hope it's all in the middle. 
Oh, it looks okay. Right, that's that bit of sewing done. Just put it over there for now. And just trim off the, uh, the endy bits. And surprisingly, right down the middle of the spine, which I'm quite happy with. <laughs> I think I think my sewing's have got a bit better. I've done quite a lot of it lately, so you'd hope to get better at it, wouldn't you, if you're doing it all the time, or at least not all the time, but quite a quite a bit of it, and a better idea of what I'm doing, I think, I hope. Let's get rid of these bits. Right, so, there's my little booklet. There's my bone fold. Let's get it all folded down. Now, one thing I thought I might do is, um, is put some lace on the spine anyway, because it, it's uh, it's okay, but you can see it's, there's some white kind of bits coming through from the paper where it's folded and been sewn. I think it just needs a little bit more reinforcing. So let's see what we've got in the way of a bit of lace that I can wrap around. Let's see if that bit would how this piece would look. That's quite nice. That might work. What else we got? Um, don't think any of these would be quite what I want. Um, I'm just having a step going through some of the lays I've got. I seem to have got things buried. It needs to be thin, thin enough to fold around and a lot of the laces are a bit a bit on the thicker side. Hang on. Oh that's the one I was looking for. Oops, sorry, I'm just just grabbing another one that I thought I might want to use. And that's this one. So I like it and it's just possibly a little bit a little bit heavier duty. Uh, holding things together. I don't know. Do I like that one? On there? Or this one? I think I like this one, after all. But you have to try different things just to make sure you know what you that you've got what you want. So how long does that need to be? Cut that there. Right. Put that, glue that up a bit. And putting the glue along the stitching obviously will keep it in place to prevent any unravelling that we don't want. Um, I'll put a little bit more on. Right. Let's make sure it covers the whole thing properly. Are we straight? No, I don't think we are. You can usually tell if you're straight when you fold it round to the back and see if that forms a straight line as well. I think that's okay. Right, so let's put some on here.
I've just got to hold that in place. Just have to give it a moment, make sure it make sure it grabs. I think we're getting there. Trim off the end. bit of something to hold it make it look a bit prettier and hold it all in place and then the other thing I thought I might do I don't know for sure there were some quite attractive looking bits and pieces on the inside of the front cover where's it gone there it is so it's a bit of a dilemma because there's some really pretty images on the front cover to, that would be nice to cut out as well, like this one and more suitcases. But um, you know we have have those already, so I think I will try and use some of these pieces here. Um, so I'll just tear out the tear the cover off. I wondered about this piece. That, I thought that might look interesting along the front of the book. Let's see how it looks. Um, these are better scissors for cutting things out. Little bit fiddliness. Not quite sure what this is meant to be, but I just thought it looked like it might make a nice embellishment. On the book, well, we'll see. It'll make a nice embellishment on something, even if I don't end up using it on this. It might be too big. trim it up a little bit more if I've missed a few any bits just wanted to see how, how it works size wise as much as anything right so I wondered about putting that on there but it's too big isn't it haha -ha. that's as I feared so I've got um, something else I think that I'm thinking might, it might go on that I haven't made yet, but I'm going to. Let's see, what else have we got? Well, we've got this one, which I think might be smaller. Maybe I should use that one. Yes. Either that, maybe one of these locks, maybe. Hmm. The other thing is there were some other bits I could use. Don't really need a padlock on there or big. Some other things I think they're like little hinges or buckles or something, but I think they'll blend in too much. Let's have a look at this one. Will that fit? Will that work? 
I don't know that I'm going to cut out that little um, little tiny keyhole. I think I might leave that there. At least it's not white. I could put that on there. Maybe. Don't know. And then I've got these um, labels. So, let the future arrive one day at a time. Escape the ordinary. Amazing. There is in all artists a little of the vagabond. Like that. Leave the road, take the trails. Way to the new frontier. Maybe that one would work quite nice. Let's see how big that is. I will find the right thing to go on this on, this, on the front of this little book. Now, is that going to fit? Voyage to the New Frontier. I think that might just fit. Sure that watching me fussy cut isn't really what you'd bargain on for this video, but it's hard to know what you're going to need till we get there. Just cut those bits out first. Just the um, just get the length of it and the other end because I want to make sure it will fit before I actually go any further. bit as well. Let's just see if it's actually going to fit first. Voyage to the New Frontier. I think that would be, I think I quite like that. I'm not sure about this. I think it's, it just doesn't quite work. But I think maybe if I put it there, so it just snuggles into that little um, bit in the, in the scallop, that would look quite nice. So I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. I might even put a little cheesecloth behind it. We'll see how that looks. I can get around all these little, these little loops. I thought I'd done with the fussy cutting. I did loads of that yesterday. No, I'd be doing more. But it's quite handy having all these little labels and things, things to decorate the journal with. Because I haven't got a lot of travel style labels knocking around. I'd have to come up with my own phrases or something. So at least I've got this to to work with. Oops. Ooh. Any problem with this because it's not a it's not a digital. If I mess it up, I can't print it again like I can with a digital one. Let's just get rid of that's distracting me. Nearly there. Oop. Okay. Last little bit. Okay. Got all these bits of it's rubbish. Right, let's let's have another look. Voyage to the New Frontier. Now, do I need anything behind that? Because it's already got the lace down the side. 
it's got a little decorative element in the background I think maybe I'll just leave it as it is um, glue book oh things are going on the floor okay Let's stick that on and then pop our little book in its pocket and see if there's anything else we need to do on that page Upside down would not be good. Oh, yep, yeah. okay. Rather like that. Okay, so we have a little booklet. Let's just um, make sure it opens. Use a folder just to flatten down the pages a bit. We have a nice little notebook. Where's my page? Let's get rid of some of these bits. works quite nicely. Voyage to the New Frontier on the high seas. Didn't even uh, plan that but I think it works quite nicely. Do I need anything else? Do I need any decoration up here at all? Don't know. I think for now I'll leave as is. So I could put a little bit of Lace up the top there. Just because. What do we think? Is that too much? Can there ever be too much? Maybe only go as far as the because I don't know if I like it over the top of the blue. I'll cut a piece off and let's have a look. I think I might just put that there. Just straighten this up a bit. Why not? A little bit more lace.
Okay. Oops. <laughs> Right, I might need something to cover up the join now. Not good at joins, we'll see. Make sure it's stuck. Um, I'm thinking a little flower maybe. Let's see what I've got. A moment. Mm, I've grabbed some options. I don't. I think it might be too too big. I have got these. These little papery ones. And I've got, oh, what's that? Felt. Not sure about felt. one of these a little one on top maybe just there yeah I think so right, let's just pop that there um, I'll see if I've got a brad to go in the middle. <laughs> Alright, the last little thing. You don't have to worry quite so much about bulk in these kind of journals. Send it through the hole. And that one. Yeah, I like that. I could have used a flat pack pearl as well, but I just thought brads that I hardly ever use so maybe this would work there I think that might just finish that off it's um because it's going to be a brad I'm going to use this good old Fabri-Tac and then we'll be done videos to make one page I mean <laughs> um, if it's going to be like that all the way through I may have to do some of these pages off screen otherwise it will be one of those never-ending projects but it's an adventure it's all new doing this because you're decorating creating the page and then adding the ephemera and decorating it all at the same time so it will take longer but it is fun and I'm really enjoying it, really enjoying it. Just, just doing something different, it's really good fun. Okay. There. My little, my little pearly brad in the flower. There we are. that on there 
as usual I'm surrounded by a massive mess but then I guess that's that's the crafters lot we weren't in a mess we weren't doing we weren't really doing it were we we're just pretending okay there we are this one is now finished at least I think it is unless I think of something else I want to add except for the fact that I haven't made something to go in here yet um, when I've worked out what it's going to be I'll uh, I'll do it <laughs> and I'll show you so thank you once again for joining me and please do join me again soon bye <laughs>